Today is August 4th, 2016. Uh, I continue to document the illegal aliens mafia's uh, mo modus operandi and uh, its government benefits. Uh, I mean, its government employees uh, placed uh, at uh, key positions within our government so they can perpetuate the excuse me, the trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits and the um, selling of citizens' uh, identities all over the uh, country, including the selling of these to um, terrorists uh, who uh, come here and need paper papers to move around our country. Okay, this is a fax uh, which contains uh, what is going on with one uh, sample case. Um, the sample case of uh, elderly and chronically ill cancer dying patient uh, Luisa Oyarsun. She's a citizen who worked dozens of years of her life uh, and paid her taxes and was an excellent citizen, paid into her social security etc. She's uh, 65 years old. Her, patient, her, her patient was denied to her. Um, her state pension, New York state pension, was also uh, confiscated and stolen by uh, government employees, um, specifically Kevin McGuire and uh, Livingston County Department of Social Services uh, employee uh, or, and commissioner, uh, Ms. Diane Dean. Kevin McGuire is the commissioner of the Department of Social Services in Westchester County, in Westchester, New York, who uh, still after four uh, and a half months of uh, Luisa Oyarzu moving out of his county uh, still has open cases, dozens of open cases uh, without Luisa Oyarzu's permission, knowledge or consent. Uh, regarding and he's telling the taxpayers that she's still living there that uh, he needs a uh, hundred thousand dollars for this two hundred thousand dollars for that uh, three hundred thousand dollars for this to help her uh, in the meantime he has never in the 12 years that he and her has been in contact has never provided any of her government benefits to her instead uh, he uh, processed the paperwork and sold the the government benefits that uh, were not cash to illegals in the country and illegal aliens mafia members. The the cash uh, he packeted, of course, and gave some of them of these monies to the pregnant federal and state uh, officials that were supposed to process him for identity theft. Uh, elderly financial abuse and fraud but didn't in exchange of you know what so um, this is going back to the uh, this fax uh, is a fax sent to the um, national grid electricity Co uh, supply and company uh, it is sent by Luisa Oyarsun and it reads RE I cannot pay my electricity because I am the victim of elderly financial abuse and fraud by Diane Dane Commissioner of the Department of Social Services uh, in Livingston County, who works uh, with Commissioner McGuire from Westchester to defraud the taxpayers and steal uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars from them um, while they sell government benefits to illegals in the country. Uh, the fax continues to read federal court CC CC to federal court at the United States District Court Southern District of New York uh, case number 16 DC 1297 uh, The name of the sender is Miss Luisa Oyarsun elderly disabled chronically ill and cancer dying patient due to the uh, commissioning commissioners of DSS Department of Social Services selling my identity and government benefits to illegals across the country and illegal aliens mafia members uh, attention to uh, president CEO administrator of National Grid uh, electricity supply and company 
date uh, August 4th, 2016, fax number 315-460-9511, which did not work, and fax number 315-460-9522, which did work, and it went through. Uh, number of pages, two. It reads uh, right here, uh, Dear National Grid's President, CEO, or Administrator, Enclosed, please find my doctor's letter stating that I cannot be without electricity because my, of my chronic uh, health condition. Paragraph 2, it says so. Thus, it is illegal for my electricity to be disconnected. Currently, my electricity benefits are being stolen by Livingston County's Department of Social Services Commissioner, Ms. Diane Dane. She's being sued at the federal court uh, along with her dear uh, friend and partner, Mr. Kevin uh, M. Middle McGuire. So um, these two people um, so are paid, are state employees. They're paid to process the paperwork of the citizens uh, and supervise many workers who process the paperwork, uh, paperwork of the citizens so the citizens can get their government benefits, um, uh, which by law belongs to them. So instead, they have their employees uh, process the citizens' paperwork, get the citizens' government benefits, and turn turn around and sell them to illegals across the country. So illegals can get um, free state pensions, uh, free uh, housing, free electricity, free gas, uh, free clothing, free uh, furniture uh, allowance, all the uh, government benefits um, that millions of United States citizens of different descent, Irish, German American, Irish American, Italian American, Hispanic Americans, African Americans, etc. All these government benefits that uh, these citizens uh, worked for all their lives uh, now belong to uh, the illegals in the country because the, when the citizens go to the Department of Social Services, the Social Security Administration offices, or the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services uh, to get their benefits, uh, the, the workers here uh, at these agencies paid by the taxes, by the way, by the taxpayers, turn around, uh, process the, the citizens' paperwork, and sell them, uh, say, uh, get the government benefits and sell them to illegals in the country and illegal aliens mafia members. So this is uh, what uh, is going on and I hope that um, this situation with uh, our citizens gets resolved. Um, and by the way, uh, after the government benefit, the government employees, the aforementioned government employees, sell the citizens' identities and government benefits, they turn around and send assassins after these citizens so they can kill them and uh, the illegals are assured that nobody's going to find out that they have somebody else's identities. So this is kind of creepy. Uh, I have been doing the research for the last 15 years. I have uh, evidence that a lot of people uh, are being uh, killed and murdered by this um, illegal aliens mafia and uh, by its government employees. Uh, kind of creepy. Well, uh, Thank you for uh, watching and I will continue to document the Illegal Aliens Mafia, uh, mod Mafia's modus operandi and its government employees um, modus operandi because I swore um, to different people that I would do this and I will do this uh, uh, no matter what. So. Um, Unless uh, they assassinate me because they have sent assassins after me, the different government employees, including uh, Ms. Diane Dane and Kevin McGuire, uh, unless they kill me, they assassinate me, I will continue to document what they are doing to our citizens and how they assassinate them to continue to sell their identities to illegals in the country and illegal aliens mafia members.